there's a lot going on today. We've got so many different forms of information constantly. Um, we're very fragmented. And so Blue Mind is that piece that slows it all down, that allows us to connect with ourselves first and then with others. Hi, I'm Paola Espitia with Olapai Creative. Welcome to Conversations with Paola, a weekly video series exploring what it takes to make change. We share unfiltered, intimate, and inspiring conversations with wave makers in blue spaces around the world. Our mission is to create a ripple effect that moves you to affect change in your lives and communities too. 70% of, of the surface of planet Earth is covered in water. Also, um, our brain, our heart, and our lungs that's the epitome of what the ocean is to me. It's just like my heart and soul and it's love and it's connection. It was something that, that was going to stick with him for quite a while. I mean, read lots of books. Books will motivate you. Experience things. Experiences will motivate you. Watch interviews like this. And I have to say being able to go out and make an impact. How many people do you interact with every day? You can be a change maker for all of those people. Now it's time for us to say, okay, everybody's had their chance. Now it's time to say, we're ready. We're gonna kick it off and we're gonna start making our beach the most environmentally friendly. We love water, we love you. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Conversations with Paola. Today, we are speaking with international transformational coach, Janine Massi. Thank you so much for joining me today, welcome. Thank you, really appreciate you being in, being here in one of my most favorite spots. Yes, we are actually at Kalu's restaurant, right? In yes. Lauderdale by the sea, here in South Florida. It is a beautiful day, we've got the water just right over here, over our shoulder, and um, it's a lovely, lovely spot. You all have to check it out sometime. But uh, I'm really glad that we have Janine here with us because I actually first met Janine through the Blue Mind movement maybe three years ago now. Yeah, three years ago. It's crazy. It is super crazy. Mm -hmm. But obviously we have this water piece in common. So actually, why don't you go ahead and tell us what is your connection to water? Such a great question. I love being asked that. So. From when I was a little girl, my family was involved with boating. So at that point, we did a lot of power boating. Um, I've always been a swimmer. I, I have fished. And later in life, I got involved with sailing. So blue water sailing, passages between New England and uh, the Caribbean, which are oh, wow. really fun and adventurous. Um, and most recently, scuba. So that's something I took up with my daughter. And now I have other blue mine friends that I dive with. And um, it's really exciting and a really cool way to experience the world. And speaking of which, you have actually done an amazing job at really creating your own reality. And you do that through this transformational coach company that you started. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what your company is all about and also what your mission is. Great. Um, thank you for asking me that. It's something I'm very passionate about. So five years ago, I moved back to the beach. I had had a second home here, um, raised my children in the north, in the Midwest, and came back down here to Florida. So I went through a pretty big transformation for myself. So what started as past clients reaching out to me, asking for coaching, um, and I had never called it that before. Uh, I worked in leadership, so I supported people in all different ways. I was, my last position was as a CEO, so supported a team. And so it was something that I had some friends who were in the coaching industry. They said, look, you're a natural, give it a shot. And I wanted to be really careful that I didn't get back into a nine to five. Um, fortunately, about five years ago is when a lot of technology platforms were really taking off. And I was able to start working remotely, traveling the world, working from crazy remote places. And what I found was I was just sharper. I knew that I had to overcome things um, in my surroundings to make it work, right? To make sure you have internet, uh, time zones, all of those things, which made me really focused. And I think served as a great example for my clients that 
You know, I always tell people, look, if a middle-aged white woman like myself can do this, you can do anything. <laughs> so um, I'm happy to put myself out there that way. And that really led me into a great, intimate relationship uh, across industry with leadership and influencers who are really out there today making a difference in this world. Absolutely. I think that that's one of the neatest things about you is that your roster of clients is really impressive. It's very dynamic and it's also very inspiring. And so what do you think this kind of caliber of clientele actually gets from working out of or working with you? Well, it's really interesting. So I think it's kind of like having a CEO in their back pocket, right? So leadership's lonely. And so when you're out there, whether you're a founder or you're starting something or you're in some kind of leadership position, it's very lonely. So to have someone there to mastermind with, bounce ideas off of, fortunately, I've lived long enough to have my own business. I've worked for for-profits. I've worked for profits. Um, and so I have a lot of different things to offer. I love working cross-industry because strategies sometimes haven't yet crossed different industry lines but I get to do that because I work with so many people. So in addition to coaching them individually, we've created this tribe. And so now there's a lot of masterminding going on, people stepping up and really supporting each other in a very, very unique way. So it's a dynamic platform. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we talk a lot about the Blue Mind and really when we're talking about Blue Mind, it's all about spending time by water very specifically so that we can improve our focus, become more creative, live happier, better lives. And you've actually done a really neat job of implementing Blue Mind strategies and Blue Mind science into what you do. So how could other coaches actually utilize Blue Mind in their practice to, to make a better practice? Yeah, it's, it's, thank you for that question because today we understand that it is about focus. There's a lot going on today. We've got so many different forms of information constantly. Um, we're very fragmented. And so, Blue Mind is that piece that slows it all down, that allows us to connect with ourselves first, and then with others. So it's a great place for play, it's a great place for walk, it puts us in a meditative state. So people, um, they enjoy all different kinds of things relating to water, even non-relating to water, but that is one of the things on the menu that I prescribe for the clients that I work with. And it truly is amazing when we give ourselves time and space by the water. Um, yeah, it, it really creates a balance that gives people really um, focus, but also resiliency, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially now, I mean, that, that seems to be, especially for folks who are in these leadership positions, that being resilient is yes. a main ingredient in the success that, that people are able to it realize. Is. Sustainability is huge. So maintaining a focus um, and being able to, you know, not be doing this all the time. There's always ups and downs, but we like this waves, if you will, right. instead of <laughs> instead of the big dips, um, makes it more sustainable. So yeah, you know, for other coaches who are interested, I've coached uh, psychologists, I've coached other coaches before. This Blue Mind concept is something people can grab onto easily. So I would recommend getting the Blue Mind book. It's a cool way to get plugged in because there's great content out there. You and I both know our friend uh, Wallace J. Nichols, the author of Blue Mind, the founder of this movement, is so engaged and he's constantly creating content. That can be shared with clients as well. So I totally leverage that. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a great component to slow people down and let them remember, you know, this journey that we're on, it's about feeling good. When we feel better, we think better. And when we think better, we do better. Yes, a thousand percent. That is so true. I've personally experienced that thanks to you. <laughs> and um, that's so actually a really neat point about you're in, about being a coach, you're in such a position where you do get to be a part of other people's successes. Yeah. I'm sure that must be one of your favorite parts of what you do, but, but what is some of the favorite parts that, that you do? Yeah, it's a really intimate thing because my coaching, unlike others, it's cross-discipline, right? I truly believe when people are struggling in areas of their lives, it's an expression of themselves. So if people are struggling in their businesses, 
Typically it's because they've got some other issues going on. Um, there's skill-based training, uh, there's experience, and then there's mindset. And it's all important. So yeah, we, you know, we just want to keep people on track and on task. And, and that, that works well. Absolutely. So you have gotten a chance to travel around the world. What are some of your favorite places that you've been? Yes, yes. So I have, and it's been so exciting. Um, and I've done this with friends, I've done this with my boyfriend, family, on my own. Uh, Peru obviously is a high point. Uh, Machu Picchu was amazing. Although my first time surfing in Peru, I, I will never forget that. So yeah, so that, um, that's cool. Galapagos Islands, amazing. Italy, um, yeah, Morocco, many, many different places. But for me, water connects everything and the best people you find by the water. Yes. And so I like to experience my travel through the eyes of the people wherever I'm traveling. So it's really important for me to get into local culture and um, food, music, hanging out. That, that's what I'm about. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why we get along so yes, well. <laughs> yes. It's about growth. We really grow when we see things different from us. So we were like, I'm like that. I'm not like that. They think that, you know. Um, also speaking in another language, for those who maybe always wanted to or thought it was too late, it's never too late. And um, that takes your experience to a whole other level. So being able to fail forward. So in business, we have to be willing to put ourselves out there. It's not comfortable. Learning a new language, not always comfortable, but so fulfilling. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's just another component that I'd really express and share with people that I'd encourage them to get involved with. Try things they have never tried before. Well, just like you said, I mean, you have done such a wonderful job at harnessing technology in order to help you construct this inspired yeah. lifestyle that, that you're designing. So what are ways that people could actually get in touch with you, that, that people can access you, despite the fact that you may not be here in South Florida sometimes? Yeah, which is totally fine, which I'm excited that we're both in the same place at the same time, because you're not always on the land either. True. <laughs> <laughs> so when our paths collide, although it feels like we're always in touch yes, because of yeah. technology. I know people have um, strong feelings about that, but the technology, the way I use it, really allows us to connect in a, in a seamless way. So to get in touch with me, the easiest way is probably on Facebook, Messenger, all my contact information is there as far as website. I'm also on all the other social media platforms. But on Facebook, I do something that's called Better by the Bite, and where I do short coaching segments to support people. Sometimes things my clients are going through, I'm able to share some stories, some strategies that people can listen to and really like try on and get out there and do. I am a big professor that we don't need to sit and learn for a long time. We need to learn and do at the same time, make modifications as we go. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so Facebook is a great place to, to reach out for me. Fantastic. We'll make sure that we link up to all of Janine's contact information. So you have it and you have a way to access Janine and the amazing magic that, that she helps us all experience as a transformational coach. Now, one of the last questions I have here is, what matters to you? Um, authenticity matters to me. I think connection more than anything else. And I think that fits in with the, the water vibe, right? If you really think about it. Um, I do anything to connect deeply with people. That's my sweet spot. My gift, my talent is to be able to see things, sometimes in a unique way that people can't see in themselves. So whenever I have the chance to really build relationships, friendships, working relationships, um, that's probably the most important thing to me. That's so lovely, I yeah. love that. That feels very yeah. good. Thank you so much for sharing that. We so appreciate having Janine here on Conversations with Powell. Thank you again for taking the time. Absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so excited to uh, be your guest. So thank you so much. and. Uh, to enjoy this space with you. Absolutely. We're going to continue enjoying our beautiful blue backyard yeah. here in South Florida. Until next time, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, we can each be wave makers. Can't wait to see how you're being a wave maker. Thanks again. Awesome.